Do you want to kind of move into a who would you rather conversation? Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll lead it off. I think the Giants should, and this is maybe me being greedy and me being a fan and not really looking at the big picture. I think this Giants defensive line is, has the ability to be really good. I mean, this year was a ninth-ranked defense. But I think every guy on this defense is so important. And I think the defensive tackles are just as important as the safeties, as the corners, as the linebackers. And I just don't want to mess it up. I really think the Giants should do what they can to keep both these guys here, to keep both these guys here. And I know Leonard is going to get a huge contract and maybe even think about franchise tagging him again, because, you know, he, he probably, he's not going to get this, you know, 11 and a half. If he gets 11 and a half sacks again, then you just do it. But maybe you think about tagging him again. Um, or you talk you, of uh, tagging Dalvin and then signing Leo. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you tag one of them and give the other one a contract. I just think you got to do what you have to do to keep, this group together because the, with the defensive, the defensive, these guys are very huge in the pass game. Like them being able to be run stoffers allows our linebackers to play the pass. Like I do think this defense has been built very well. And, and I think Dalvin's a big part of that. Uh, so I think you got to do what you have to, to keep these guys together. And if that means cutting Kevin Zeitler and you know me, I do not want to move on from Kevin Zeitler. I do not want to make this offensive line worse, but if I would rather keep Dalvin, than Zeitler. I would rather keep if, if you're telling me keep three, I'm keeping Dalvin and Leo because at least I know what I've got with with the defense. And I and I think both those guys are huge parts to it. It all depends on the deal. Um, but as of right now, I am keeping I'm prioritizing Leonard Williams number one. Like that has to be the priority for me. And you know, it, it all stems down to that question of yes. You can disagree with whatever price tag he may come with, um, but where is the production going to come elsewhere? And you may just ha- and he- here he- and here's the ultimate conversation that I have with myself: getting to the quarterback and putting pressure on the quarterback is much more important than stopping the run. And if anything, like I like I said, Thomas, to start the show and to start this positional pre- uh, positional review. I don't mind if we're giving up a little bit in the running game. Giants have, are, you know, Giants have a top ten rushing defense right now. Even if that gets a little, even if that gets a little bit worse, I don't mind because then that gives teams it gives teams the illusion that hey, you can run the ball against the Giants. And if teams are running the ball more than they're, you know, you know more than they're throwing the ball, I am very fine with that. Go ahead, run all day. You're not going to do a lot running consistently. You know, there's only a few teams in the NFL: the Titans, the Browns, the Ravens. Uh, name probably there's a couple of teams that I'm forgetting that can just run the ball at will. The majority of the NFL cannot do that. So go ahead, think that you can run the ball against us because you're because it's not going to result in you getting seven points. Consistently consistently so it's a replaceable position you know uh, while we do get gash when dalvin's not on the field but i just don't feel comfortable giving a lot of money to an interior defense alignment or to a nose tackle specifically when somebody else can step up and play that position and the giants have been defensive tackle you for years we move on from barry cofield um somebody else steps in linville joseph steps in linville joseph goes um, we signed Snacks Harrison for free agency, but also we draft Jonathan Hankins. Jonathan Hankins leaves. We draft Dalvin Tomlinson. Yeah, but the counter argument to that would be, and where I, if you're going either or, where I could fall into this, it's I mean it's hard for me to pick. That's why I want to keep both. Is say Leonard's numbers at 19 a, mi- a year, Dalvin's is at 10, which I think is is too realistic. You know, you can argue Dalvin could be less or more. Um, Leonard, I think is, is probably going to land around there, um, at the least like 16 mil is, you know what you increase BJ Hill, who has some pass rush ability snaps. Um, you know, he's entering year four. Uh, I guess that would be the end of it. I was going to say RJ McIntosh, but you can't, you can't make the argument. That yeah. I, I even have an, I even have on my notes here, Bobby, you know, I love Dex. I love BJ Hill. And if you want to bring an RJ McIntosh into the discussion, but None of those guys, even together cumulatively, I don't think can put up the numbers. Like if you add up the pressures, the QB hits, and the sacks between all three of those guys in a given year, I don't even know if they can meet the production of Leonard Williams in one year in 2020. I don't know. I don't think so. No, you won't never meet their 2020 numbers. The question is, could you get, you know, could you add a sack to Dex, two sacks? 
to you know to to bj hill and then assume that leonard goes down to like seven and a half and it's like okay you're one sack off there like that's the argument you could make is that they could replace that production it's and we'll, we'll talk about dex in a second but i think he can have a, a really a, a third year jump and that would be saying something because he was, it was really good this year um so it, it's it's gonna be a tough decision but i do think the fact that dalvin hasn't been re-signed kind of says the organization may be leaning towards leonard and let's be real. They just have more wrapped up in Leonard. Yeah. Yes. Um, usually the organization now, Dalvin Tomlinson is not a Victor Cruz. Um, he's not a Plaxico Burris is not an Eli Manning. Right. Or, you know, even take Odell for an example, where they had an, o- they had an extension with Odell worked out in the summer before the last year of his deal, where that's typically how the giants operate. If you're an important player of the franchise, they like to extend you the summer before um, the summer before season ends or summer before your last contract year is so we'll see we'll see my priorities lie with you know pass rush getting to the quarterback and making it a priority to make sure that we have a replacement for Dalvin Tomlinson and do our self-scouting and do our self-evaluation that we can for sure for sure all right let's talk about Dexter Lawrence six foot 